What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. Well, the Xiaomi Mi Band 2 was a very popular fitness tracker and that was mostly because of the price, because you could buy this for around $25, $30, so very, very cheap. Well, now Xiaomi introduced a new fitness band, but this one it's not that cheap. This one costs around $130, $140, so very, very expensive. This new one it's called the Amaze Fit Health Band and it can do a few more things compared to the Mi Band 2, but in my opinion it's still way overpriced. So it can measure your steps, it can measure your heart rate and this one actually measures your heart rate uh, throughout the day, so every minute, so you can see your heart rate throughout the day, so non-stop basically. It can do an ECG test, so that's basically an electrocardiogram, something that you do in a hospital, and it can also show the heart rate variability. Now, the problem with the ECG results is the fact that we are not doctors, so whenever I get one of those graphs um, after I've done an ECG test, I don't really know what I should look for. So, realistically, I'm looking at that, but I don't really know what I'm looking at. Now, if it's gonna be the same for a week and then one day it's gonna be like all high up or down or something like that, then I can be like, oh, maybe there is a problem, I should see a doctor, but realistically, we don't know that much about um, those ECG tests. The app will also give you a mark based on that ECG test and um, it marks you good or bad basically, so you have an idea, but in reality we are not doctors, we are not gonna know and everything uh, it's gonna be based on what that app says. And moving on, the app can also track the distance that you've done, the calories that you've burned um, and of course you can also use it as a sleep monitor. And when you wake up, the app will actually show you how much you've slept, how much of that um, was in deep sleep and how much was in light sleep. And of course, will give you a mark for your sleep. And those are the main functions for this fitness band. For me, the most important one um, is that constant heart rate monitoring and of course, um, tracking the steps that I do throughout the day. Unfortunately, the band doesn't know when you're running. So even if you're running, you're not gonna know that you're running and it's still gonna count them as regular steps. Of course, you could always look at the heart rate for those times and you're gonna see that the heart rate is uh, much higher whenever you're running, so I guess you could know um, whenever you're running that way. Now, the most annoying thing about this fitness band is the app, so you're not gonna be able to find the app in the Google Play Store and you have to scan a QR code um, from the manual and download it from some uh, Chinese website, so not that easy to find. Once you install it, well, surprise, surprise, the app is mostly in Chinese, so about 80% of the app is in Chinese, so it is a bit difficult to actually understand what's happening. Now, if you're like me and you have another phone, you could just get another phone, install Google Translate, and then just look at uh, your phone through that phone, so you can actually translate whatever uh, you see in the app there. And I actually had to do that um, in order to set the band up. But um, yeah, it's definitely not easy to do and it is very annoying considering the price of the band. There is a section that's in English um, in the app there as well and I'm not sure why that's in English and the rest of the app it's in Chinese, it's very confusing. But um, basically to set up the band um, you go to the English section and you change things around there. The fitness band can also show notifications, so for example if you get on WhatsApp message you're gonna see a little icon um, from WhatsApp on the fitness band. If you get a text message again you're gonna see a different um, icon for a text message, for phone calls you're gonna see who's calling or the phone number, depending if you have that saved um, in your phone. If you get an email you get another notifications and for the apps that don't actually have um, the icon it just says app. So you can definitely get a whole bunch of notifications on the band, but you cannot reply or read any of the notifications, so you can only see the little icon. The Amazfit Health Band comes in a good looking box, on the front you basically see a picture of the band and a lot of Chinese on the back and I can't really tell um, what it says. Inside the box you're gonna find the user manual, the user manual is also in Chinese but it doesn't have that uh, much information, you're gonna find the fitness band and the charger. The charger is super easy to use, it attaches to the back of the band and you can just plug it into any phone charger and the band will charge. Inside the band we have a 95 milliamp battery and even though that doesn't sound like a lot, it lasts for about 2 weeks, so I dropped about 6% every single day while using this band, so that brings you to about 2 weeks on one battery charge. The band itself looks very good and very stylish and uh, in my opinion it looks much better than the Mi Band 2, but again the price is like 6 times uh, higher on this one, so you'd expect something much better for that price. 
The band is mostly made out of plastic, um, but on the front we have some type of glass um, covering the 0.42 inches um, display, and just underneath that we have something like a touch button. So all you have to do is touch that uh, metallic looking part underneath the screen and uh, you can switch in between steps, heart rate, uh, calories burned, uh, distance and so on. Now if you are indoors you're gonna be able to see that um, OLED display pretty much anywhere but as soon as you go outside in bright daylight well it is very very difficult to actually see the screen so for this price I was actually expecting that um, that OLED display would get brighter. On the back of the band we have the connectors for the charger, we also have the heart rate monitor and the, those um, two little metallic uh, pieces are probably the electrodes so the um, fitness band can actually read that um, ECG. The straps are made out of some type of uh, rubber and the rubber feels better than the one that we used to have on the Mi Band 2 and the straps are also replaceable so all you have to do is like push them um, out and you can just replace them with the other one so very easy to do. The band is also waterproof and you could take this swimming or um, in the shower or anything like that but every time you get this sweat it seems to go crazy and uh, that uh, touch button actually gets activated and the band just keeps going and going and going so not the best thing to keep this in water. So to conclude this video this band is very unique and mostly because of that um, ECG tracking because you don't actually see that for any other fitness band. Now unfortunately the price is crazy because paying 150 bucks for something like this well it is um, expensive but when you think that uh, one of those Fitbit uh, whatever they're called uh, costs like 120 130 dollars and realistically doesn't do that much I guess this would offer you a better value. Now they have to fix the app, they have to get the app on the Google Play Store and they have to make it in English because I really want to understand what the band says um, if my heart rate is not good or something like that. I don't really want to read uh, through another phone and just translate and so on. So they definitely need to fix that and um, well drop the price a bit and um, this would actually be competitive. Alright guys hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did like it press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.